We're still technically a declining population and the last census revealed that uh, we'd lost about uh, 80 odd people and so we had some bad press about six months ago saying um, Lee Hunt Council is in the, the worst 5% of the community's uh, losing population. So we really have two choices, we can either just whine away and grizzle about what's happening or we can say no, if we go down we'll go down fighting. They asked me to uh somehow design something which reflects community life. Yeah, basically that this is a symbol of sun. It's uh, a wheat and sheep. Yeah, but it looks like a human being. Yeah, that's me, tiny little, <laughs> trying to do some work. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I fell in love with stone. It's a kind of love affair. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't let me go. Stone is, it is mysterious, you know, you're touching uh, evolutionary history of, uh, of the material, you know, that we humans, we think uh, we got everything under control, but actually we got nothing under control, even ourselves, our own behavior. But the stone is the oldest material, and uh, as I carve stone, uh, stone carves me. Excellent. Can't wish better. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> it's got also elements of uh, like family, community, past and the future. This is my side. So we got a little hump here. <laughs> the other side, the female more rounded and you can see a few missing seeds, which represents uh, dry years. Today we're at the stage of, of pouring the foundation for the sculpture. Yeah, this is the uh, where it finally gets a home, I suppose. Before that it's sort of been just out there somewhere. So uh, uh, she's locked in place, hopefully for a long, long time. So Greg, Greg and um, Barry have got the hardest job of all, which is trying to get money out of people for this to happen. Well, there are some naysayers, as, as you would expect. You know, they're not convinced. And some people, a statue like that is a little bit different. Oh, some, some people just can't see that spending that amount of money is good for the area. You know, they're not convinced. They'd rather see a, another road or something like that, I suppose. But uh, communities aren't just roads and rubbish. San Pedro in Lisbon in Spain, people go up and hug this statue, it's 10 foot high, and they reckon it's marvellous. Thousands of people do that. Well, we won't get thousands, but we'll get a lot of people who think this is a lot better statue than that, I can tell you that. <laughs> That's where the granite comes from. El Dorado. <laughs> this was one of conditions to use local granite. And I guess, you know, the, to promote the granite and the, Kind of because it's convenient, it's here. This project, I guess, is we're part of me as well. Under 50. Because it's my first time doing such a large scale sculpture out of granite. I found a new respect for my old man, that one that does that work and he's been doing it for so long. You know, thousands of years <laughs> after I'm dead, after my kids maybe pass away, no, really the history will still be there. and. That's sort of like a soothing thought. I don't know. Just you make uh, me cry. Is that right? Yes, you did. You touched my feelings, <laughs> and uh, it was great to <coughs> to hear that you were actually thinking this way. You know, it's we don't talk much, but uh, you know, you know, becoming more and more like a friends and uh, respecting each other. Come close. To, uh, that's a thing there. We have this amazing sculptor here in, in, in our midst. We thought he shouldn't be allowed to leave the district without <laughs> passing on some of his knowledge. Well, look, I just think it's fantastic that we're going to have something iconic in Woodna, and it not only represents 
um, the tenacity of our pioneers and people who opened the country up, but it also could make you think about the future so that we can keep this place alive. So yeah, I'm really happy about it, it's terrific. It's a very exciting moment. It's uh, been a long time in coming, 16 years since we first met as a, as a community. And it's a lot different seeing it lying in pieces on the ground, actually having it one, one complete sculpture. More or less everything went smooth and uh, you know, it took a little bit more time than I thought. And, uh, but in the end, the, uh, the happiness is actually when uh, you accomplished the project. A half finished project is nothing. Thank you, well done. Thank you Lord. <laughs> As the day for uh, unveiling is approaching, I'm so excited and full of emotions. Our community's got off their bum and done something and tried to make something happen. So we can say, people go, oh, well, do you see that jolly great sculpture, wouldn't it? We'd better call in there. We'll call into the town and have a feed and have a drink and stay the night. And it's more or less stating something for us. And, uh, and that all adds to the strength of the community because all the money goes around and around and around. I really like it. I think it's good. It's a huge draw card. Something to bring the town in, like the old big galah down Kimber and your big orange and your big pineapples. It will create comment and a lot of interest. It, it shows uh, how important this sculpture, this project is for the town here. It will stop people for sure. And uh, if they stay a couple of days here, look around and leave a few dollars, it will be good for the town. <laughs>